Hey, it's Mike from Game World Engineer, and today is day 13 of the Asset Store Flash Deal Sale, 70% off. So let's look at my picks for today. I've got 14 of them today. There's actually some good stuff in here. So let's take a look. First up is the First Person Narrative Adventures Plus Complete Puzzle Engine. This is gives you um, 40 ready-to-use puzzles. There's a diary and object system. Voiceover, subtitle and localization, full interface ready to use, sound effects, 300 plus ready to use prefabs. And there's a demo that has a mini adventure. So this um, allows you to create these first person puzzle type games. Um, the only caveat with this is that unlike some of the other systems that are were similar to this, this is not intended to be combined with other assets. It's com it's intended to be a complete in itself, uh, I guess, template. Uh, it, it, because people have said you, they've tried to integrate other assets with it and it just doesn't work. So if you just want to use this old, old asset alone to create a game using the provided assets, then this could be a good pack, maybe for a beginner, if you want to learn how to make this type of game. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, because uh, it doesn't integrate well with other assets. So just to let you know on that. So Next, we have the Ultimate Editor Enhancer. So this is a tool that gives you extra tools inside the Unity Editor. So different um, uh, things you can do. There's like 100 tools, 100 useful tools in one asset. So like auto save, bookmarks, context menus, distance tools, there's game object tools, hierarchy tools, inspector tools. So it enhances all the Unity editor uh, and adds a bunch of features to it. So uh, check this out. It looks pretty good. People are giving it good reviews. So gives you some features that you know, Unity doesn't come with, but uh, by default so next we have the mountain lake forest pack by vivid arts for fifteen dollars this one looks really good it's like a high quality modular mountain lake type pack uh, looks really good up close the some of the assets so check this out it looks pretty good Next we have the SOAP, Scriptable Object Architecture Pattern. This is allows you to create um, games using scriptable objects. Um, it's based on this talk that uh, Ryan Hipple made in 2017 about how to use scriptable objects to instead of uh, singletons, for instance. It, to do like an event based architecture so this asset helps you implement that type of a system um, more easily than if you had to code the whole thing yourself uh, you definitely can code it yourself uh, using Ryan Hipple's um, talk um, but I mean this makes it a little bit easier I guess if you buy this asset um, so if you want to make it easier, and, and the the maker of this has uh, tutorials as well to teach you how to use it. So next we have the Heroic Fantasy Creatures Full Pack Volume One by Proto Factor. So they have a bunch of fantasy monsters that you can use in your games. Uh, this is a pretty good pack and a lot of different monsters. You could use in an RPG game, or zombie games, etc. That type of thing. So check it out. It's 105, but you get like, and you get animations with it as well. So these ones come with, if you look at the content, it's really one, two, three, six different packs in one. So, so if you look at each one, each FBX files has a lot of animations for each uh, for each uh, monster so plenty of animations for you to work with 
Next, we have the Tower Defense Toolkit 4 by Song Game Dev for $18. Allows you to create a um, tower defense game more easily. So it comes with all of the features you need for a tower defense uh, game. And so procedural generation and endless modes, ability system is a perk system. No coding required. Everything can be done via editors and the full source code is included. So check that out for $18. Next we have Mesh Combined Studio 2 by Nathaniel Dolderson. Uh, he's the same developer that makes World Composer and Terrain Composer 2, which are really good assets as well. Uh, I really like World Composer 2 to cr create terrain based on real world uh, locations. But uh, this one Mesh Combined Studio 2 is a performance enhancer. It allows you to take all the meshes in one level and combine them and it will increase your frame rate quite a bit. Um, in his demo video he shows like a, like a massive improvement in FPS when it comes to doing it. Because if you use these modular kits to create things, you often have overlapping assets like rocks and stuff like that so that overlap or that hang below the the terrain and mesh combiner stu mesh combined studio 2 can get rid of all those extra triangles and combine all the combine all the overlapping ones and get rid of the overlap and that will really increase your your frame rate so check it out if you need a performance boost this one will probably help you next we have game kit controller by two cubes for sixteen fifty. Um, this one's really good. It, it's a first person, third person character game kit. Basically, it comes with many systems that you can use to implement almost any type of game. Uh, they have full body awareness on the first person. There's paragliding, free fall, wall running, roll on land, jump height key based, shape shifting any model at runtime turn-based combat, combat system and all vehicles fully adapted to 2.5D. There's water vehicles with buoyancy, wind to power sails and wave effect, character creation and customization system, armor and cloth system, now there's a full crafting system, there's climbing, full support of generic models for AI player and even to ride them. I think it uh, integrates with the animal controller too. So, uh, swim dive system allowing to use weapons and abilities on water. There's me dual melee weapons, advanced camera system with collisions and states, and a new melee system with dodge, lock on, block. So this is your dark Dark Souls type combat system. And there's integration with the Pixel Crusher's dialogue system. There's a general ride driver system. You can integrate any vehicle controller easily. And shields included. And let's see, there's so many features this thing has. It's like just about anything you can do with it. Uh, the only caveat with this, because I, I own it, I have this asset, but uh, I find that the learning curve is very high. It's very difficult to learn how to use it properly. Um, there's tutorials, but you really have to dive deep and study hard on this to get it to do what you want. Um, in fact, uh, the default character comes in with all these weapons and abilities enabled, so it's kind of hard to, and the developer even knows this, that it's kind of hard to remove, what, to know what you need to remove to get rid of all the stuff you don't want. Because there's way, there's a lot more stuff than you are, you're going to need in, in the average game that you're going to create. So just bear that in mind. And it may take a while to learn this system properly. But I do believe it's a good asset. Next we have the RPG Creation Kit. This allows you to create an RPG with a quest system. That handles complex and branching storylines with side quests that can shape and change your world. There's AI with behavior trees and goals. Player controller comes with it. 
and there's a combat system so you can just focus on making your content battles and story third person controller as well there's a dialogue system there's world streaming included so you don't need any separate asset for that save load system inventory and equipment factions trade system and vendors and then magic system firearms zombies character creation item ownership and stealing pickpocketing and quest journal books and quotes so if you want to make your own skyrim type types uh type uh rpg this thing has a lot of the features you you see in a skyrim elder scrolls type uh type assets uh, or type game so take a look at this 29.70 next we have the editor enhancers bundle and it's another editor enhancing bundle for the hierarchy v folders v ruler tabs favorites and inspector so it has six assets that usually are sold separately so it's different enhancers for for different editor tools in the editor like the hierarchy the like you can assign icons to folders, tabs for folders, pin, you can pin assets for quick access. There's a ruler tool and there's a large script inspector. Look, make it look clean, it says so. And it's uh, clean source code is included as well. Next, we have the Vintage House by Manufacturer K4. This is f meant to be for an adventure, survival horror type game. Uh, it looks like a definitely good for a horror game. The vintage house. So lots of different things you can do with this. Um, and there's a lot of props too. You can use those in just about any game that needs props. So check it out. It looks pretty good. And we got next we have Flora by Magnetic Arcade. So here we have, it's a instance, instancing rendering system for vegetation. So it allows you to paint on any surface, paint your vegetation on, custom attributes, so you can add different types of colors and stuff. Mass painting, so you can paint like sort of biomes together at the same time shadow culling uh, there's a debug window stylized assets included as well so it uh, is a full ultimate veg vegetation solution so it gets really good reviews too next we have the prefab world builder this one allows you to paint prefabs on the, onto the world so basically or you can put them on with gravity. There's a line tool, shape tool, tiling, replacer. So basically a prefab placement tool allows you to more quickly create levels. So check it out. $18 by Plugin Master. And finally, we have Modular Houses Residential Update. So this is a sort of a residential neighborhood pack, modular pack. So you could create like a town level in your game, maybe a driving game even. You wouldn't even have to use the interiors maybe, but you could create, and then there's interiors as well. So imagine a driving game and then you can go inside the house too as well. And there'll be things going on in there. So. That type of thing can be done with this so quad art for $27 so that's it for today like subscribe comment down below we'll see you tomorrow for the last day of this flash sale day 14 is will be the final day so until then we'll see you in the next one